Yeah, they've been doing a bit of off-roading. Okay then. Welcome to Car Traction. In today's video, we are back at the Midway Truck Stop for their monthly lorry meet. We've come here a bit earlier, so hopefully we'll get a few arriving, but it looks like beyond this huge modern thing is a Volvo. I'm not sure. We have quite a few classic trucks, and a few are different, and haven't we haven't actually seen them here before. So that should be a fairly interesting little walk around all of them. I should be able to get them leaving the show going on to their lorry run. I think it goes near the Horseshoe Pass, somewhere in Wales. But anyway, first of all we have this Mac, this is a new one. Foden entering the lorry meet now. Looks like we've got a few more interesting classic trucks here. Definitely a lot to look at. Very tasty Leyland now. Another new one to the Midway truck stop meet. Hold it every first Sunday of the month. Marsh potato haulage. Not sure I've seen that written on the side of a lorry. The crates on the back as well. And then we have what's this a Bedford? Is it the TK? This really cute truck. More potatoes actually. They're both potatoes. Potato haulage and potatoes limited. I wonder if they're together. It'd be a massive coincidence if they're not. I really like the colour of this baby blue. It's really cute this truck. On this idling daff, we have a much older, I'd say 1990s Leyland daff. Not really much I can say about this, I don't know too much about these sort of 1990s lorries. I'm certainly better on the older and more British traditional ones. But yep, yeah, very nice, another new arrival to the meet. Then we have some big American Dodge Ram pickup thing. You can tell it's an import because of the square registration plate very chunky thing. The V8 engine I'm sure, it says Hemi 5.7 litre. I'm sure it goes pretty well with that huge V8 block. Just driving past there's a VW van in a martini livery. Wow. There's something coming in. I think we missed a Scania coming in, but I can see a Bedford TK. Scania's just going around there, just gone out of visibility. It's gone out of sight, but I think we might be able to catch the another regular, the line painting Bedford TK. And we've got the Scania manoeuvring over here. I have to do a bit of running again. The Bedford TK. Just saw an Audi Quattro coming in. Wow. Classic car theme continues this time British in the form of this Mini Cooper. Edge Foden. Very chunky tyres, they're massive aren't they? Wow. Very nice. You can hear a dub dub type bike, probably a Harley Davidson going behind me. And we have this gorgeous Atkinson. 1960s I'd say. One thing I noticed about these Atkinsons is they have a massive windscreen don't they? Another very handsome truck. Same can be said for this very clean Scania. Must have been washed fairly recently. Another very traditional colour scheme with the sign writing on the door. 
And last for this small row, we have an ERF. This is another regular to me, I've seen it a few times. Incredibly short wheelbase. We've got a boat on a trailer just going past. Oh, we've got the lorry is here for the meet. We've got a Foden. Sounds like quite a big engine. I think I have to run over to the exit. Or entrance, actually. Don't worry, we will have a look at all these lorries. It's just that we haven't got them yet. We should be coming in soon. Oh. Neon green motorbike. Here we are, is the very muscly sounding Foden. Our motorbike whizzing past. We have the unique Bedford TK in the line painting, guys. I really love this truck, it's just because it's so unique and also the being the colour yellow it really sort of pops out. You can see the engine there, I think these trucks were one of the first ones to have the cab tilting forward like that. So it would be really easy to get to the engine. You have a Scania, I remember this was here the last time. Okay then, that was the Foden. Not sure that honk was intentional. Then we have a Volvo. We haven't seen this before in a very jazzy colour scheme. A noisy Land Rover Discovery going past. Very interesting. Really pops out the same, the same as that Bedford TK with its very vibrant colour scheme. Very rich yellow. You can still hear that discovery, I don't know if you can hear it, you probably can't. The RFs are certainly well represented in this classic lorry meet, or classic truck meet. We've got the big American V8 pickup thing. I, I don't know what it's called, sorry. Leaving. It's like some modern truck is also leaving. Let's get back to the old one. So we got this lovely ERF. I think this has been to every midway truck stop line meet I've been to. Nice ERF scripture on the wheels. Just walk around all the back of it. I think it's a really nice, well proportioned truck. And it just stands out because it's so massive. You got that modern truck leaving. What's this one then? Mud flaps would say it's a Volvo. <laughs> Got the extra little bit of glass there to aid visibility, so you can probably see about there. So if you're parking in a small spot, then you'd be able to see out to make sure you're not reversing into a wall. The mud flaps were right. This is a Volvo FL6 Turbo. I don't know what that means. Sorry. And then we have a Foden. Nineties Leyland Daff is leaving. Now that I'm out in the open, I do appreciate there is quite a bit of wind noise. I have to try and get over here to film it leaving the lorry meet. There we go. We we're just in time. If you like your classic British trucks and we try to get to this meet as much as we can, probably uploading every sort of three, four weeks or so, pretty much every month, because I think that's how often they do it. Got an ambulance going past. Well, oh, yeah, once you've watched this video, of course, I don't want you corrupting my watch time statistic. If you've got any time after watching this video, I'll try and keep it nice and short. Then um, go ahead to the channel homepage or click on one of the videos 
at the end screen at the very end of this video to look at some more classic British lorry action. Now then, a quick look at this Audi. Now I'm not actually sure it's a Quattro. It's actually an Audi GT. It could still be the tuned up Quattro version. But I'm not sure. I think it's a really legendary shape. I really, really rate these. Probably one of my favourite cars of the 1980s and of course immortalised by their participation in Group B with the Audi Quattro S1. Very tasty. Of course fitted with the distinctive five cylinder engine making it's very nice sounding burble. Just seen an ERF on the road, hopefully it'll be coming in soon. Here we are, another very nice ERF. Get out of the way sign. He wants to read about Pre's Heath Park car park charges when you can look at classic lorries. This ERF that just came in is a real dazzler, isn't it? Really lovely colour scheme, very clean. Volvo coming in now, another regular. Oh, we've got another Volvo behind us, wow. Volvo's are well represented today, aren't they? Great turnout today. I think there's possibly one or two spots left. I'm just taking one of them. A bit muddy. Doing a bit of off roading. realised this ERF is actually also potato related so we got one potato lorry, two potato lorries you can see up there, the Bedford TK and then we have a third potato lorry in the form of this Leyland. Certainly didn't see this one pulling into the lorry show, we have a Bedford CF camper van. Wow, it's very unusual. Then we have the incredibly muddy Toyota Hilux. Somebody's clearly been doing a bit of off-roading. <laughs> it's literally pasted to it. It appears that some vans have come for a little impromptu meet next to the Volvo 164. This one's a bit of an interesting one. It's a VW that's lowered with Rolls-Royce wheels or Rolls-Royce rims and Porsche brakes. So a mixture of German and British there. Very interesting. Yet another Volvo coming in now. There seem to be loads of them. Latest arrival is this lovely Volvo. It's parked behind the very colourful example. It's one in a much more sedate livery. Very interesting one actually. I'm not sure I've seen one in sort of the military grade greeny browny thing. There seem to be a lot of Volvos of this type here. It's really interesting. We haven't seen this one nor that one at this meet before, so we're certainly getting a lot of new trucks turning up. Very clean. 
just noticed this Mark V Toyota Supra and it's not really classic, well it's not classic at all actually um, so it shouldn't really be included in the video but I actually really like these, I think they're a great shape we've got the ducktail spoiler that can be found with any sort of Toyota Supra even to the earlier ones from the 1990s I think it's just a really unique looking car which really stands out especially in this vibrant red very shiny as well got a lawyer with some sort of circus thing going past and also a departure from the Bedford T TK CF sorry Bedford CF I just realized I haven't actually had a close look at this Mac yet it's massive this thing isn't it much chrome very cool American truck. Is it the only American thing here? Not sure really. Is that a truck coming in? Just over there. I think he may be here for the beat. I think we should get to the entrance to capture him coming in. Hopefully the car parking fee sign won't play a part. Just around here. He should be coming around the roundabout. There we go. It's another ERF. A modern truck leaving the classic truck show. And this time the parking free sign did get in the way. Wow, we're in our usual viewing spot. I just spotted this. Quick look at this Kenworth that we just saw coming in a couple of minutes ago. It's massive this thing, it sounded really good. Wow, I really like that. Looks like we got the first of our departures. This ERF is leaving. Wow, a Porsche. Massive Mac is coming now, this should sound a bit good. Wow, we've got more classic cars now when we have a Volvo Amazon. And something very fast behind it, I'm not sure what it was. Classic lorries leaving the show. So first of all, we got the Volvo. And a Foden. Got the massive ERF. ERF. Wayland Bedford ERF Two Volvos More Volvo goodness Scania Volvo And a Foden We have another Scania, then an Atkinson, got a Foden that's honking a bit, an ERF, 
And then a Bedford TK. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you liked it. There was a lot of classic lorry action. Lots of British lorries primarily. Or well, actually, there were a lot of Volvos there today. An unusual amount. We saw loads of different ones that we hadn't seen previously at the monthly Midway Truck Stop Classic Lorry Meet. We saw a few classic cars, such as that Amazon and the Porsche 911, very nice. And we also saw that modified car sending it. I can't remember. Was it an RX-7 or something? It sounded like a straight six, but looked like an RX-7. I'm not really sure. I was really torn in between filming the Amazon or that, but I think I sort of managed to get both. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Subscribe if you liked it. Thanks for watching.